assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here we will discuss about the group 7a elements and these group 7a elements are also called as the halogens so the group 7a elements are specifically called as halogens this is the one reason because the halo means salt and the gens mean forming so all these elements of the group 7a are salt forming so that's why they are called as the halogens and these halogens includes basically five elements the first one is fluorine the second one is chlorine third one is bromine and the fourth one is iodine and after the iodine there is a compound that is known as astatine but it is rarely studied so that's why we do not include over there it in the halogens we've just studied about one to four elements of the group 7a here the main thing or the main property of these halogens as they are 7a elements group so that's why they contain seven electrons in their valence shell they are basically non-metals they just has seven electrons so that's why they can gain one more electron to complete their octet or to complete their valence shell so they are electronegative in nature as they are electronegative so they have non-metallic character and they are always found in the combined state this is the main property of these halogens they are found in the combined state in the combined state means they will not found in the form of fluorine simple chlorine iodine or bromine they will always found in the state of f2 fluorine br2 bromine cl2 chlorine and i2 its iodine so always found in the form of combined state so that's why they are called as diatomic molecules they are called as diatomic in nature after the, this we have some properties of the halogens over along with their atomic number and electronic configuration basically the fluorine its atomic number is 9 so it contains total 9 electrons electronic configuration of helium which is 1s2 and after that 1s2 2s2 and 2p5 so it contains total seven electrons in its valence shell and the color of the fluorine we have this pale yellow now its melting point is 53 it, it is in the unit kelvin its boiling point is 85 and its electronegativity is 4.0 so the one thing over there fluorine has highest electronegativity among all the elements of the periodic table after the fluorine we have chlorine its atomic number is 17 total number of electrons is 17 but its valence shell contains seven electrons its color is greenish yellow its melting point is 172 kelvin its boiling point is 238 and electronegativity is 3.2 as well that is less than the fluorine and the third one element here we have bromine which exists in the form of br2 its atomic number is 35 valence shell again contains seven electrons its color is reddish brown so bromine is the no only non metal that exists in the liquid state its melting point is 266 and boiling point is 337 332 kelvin and electronegativity is 3 the last one we have it is the iodine its atomic number is 53 to total number of electrons is 53 so the valence shell again contain 2 plus 5 7 electrons its color is purple black its melting point is 387 and the boiling point is 457 kelvin and electronegativity is 2.7 so in all these properties you have just looked as you move down the group the electronegative character decreases and we can also write that electronegativity of fluorine is higher among the as compared to chlorine and chlorine is having higher as compared to the bromine 
and bromine is having higher electronegativity as the iodine so this trend we can also use to write or to explain the electronegative character of all the halogens in detail after their properties we have their physical states of the halogens that in what what physical state the halogens do exist and the first one is the fluorine it basically exists in the form of gas and its color is yellow then we have the second element which is chlorine it exists in the form of greenish gas this is its physical state and its symbol we can write is cl2 after this we have bromine it is existing in the form of reddish brown liquid and its symbol we can write as br2 its color is reddish brown and the last one is iodine iodine is basically in the form of solid or it exists as in the form of i2 and its color is black this can also exist in the form of all the physical states like solid liquid and gas we can convert it and when we move from top to bottom from fluorine chlorine bromine br2 and iodine 2 there the fluorine is more reactive as compared to the chlorine and bromine and iodine so among all this all the chemical reaction that just happened due to the fluorine all these reactions are more vigorous and they are more fast so it is more difficult to handle the reactions and the iodine almost we can call it as non-reactive or it is having less reactivity towards the different types of chemical reactions so this was all about the introduction about halogens or the group 7 elements i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the chemical reactivity of the halogens with other substances for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day